Falling on his niggas. Yeah, I might. Well, yeah, I'm straight. Falling on his niggas. Oh, it's a lane! Get out of there, Joe! Whoa, aim for your head top. I make them dead drop. They don't like Houdini. Can't see me, but that's me. Mix it up to the end zone for Trey. What up YouTube, it's your boy Trey Thomas back and in this video I actually wanted to break down one of my favorite games so far that has been played in the Madden Bowl. We have Fancy versus Noah, okay? Fancy, a high level pocket passer in Noah, a two time belt winner known for running the ball and running some trips tight end and just always finding a way to win. Um, this game stood out the most versus me because of course these are these are probably the two most high profile players that we saw on the first day of Madden Bowl. So I wanted to maybe break down some of this gameplay and give you guys a look inside what pros think on a down to down basis and maybe what they were thinking on these on these downs. So let's get into it. All right, so we got Fancy versus Noah. Now Noah first comes here out in some single back here trying to establish the run with the quad father. Um, everyone knows the quad father has been a problem in mud head to head across every single game mode. Um, these new AKA cards, you can pay three total AP to have the quad father active for for majority of the game. Um, his freight train ability already active and then persistent, so it's harder to knock him out of the zone. And then of course with these X Factor cards, the X Factor comes back after every five plays, even when you do knock him out of the zone. So something we want to keep an eye on in this game. Now, Noah at an early third and one. Um, in these situations, as a player, you always kind of want to come out in the passing set. You want to give the threat of the pass and the run here. So, of course, you see Noah come out in the trips tight end. Now, I, I expect Noah to audible around a little bit as well. He's come audibling over to tight. So, trips tight end to tight. I mean, that's a lot to deal with. We're, we're used to dealing with a bunch to tight. But here, fancy, great run defense. He's user in, looks to be this Derwin James that actually is not even released yet. Um, this is the MCS Derwin James. Other people can have this, I guess they can use this card for the tournament because I get to, it's an active card technically. Um, we will not have a chance to use this card until after the tournament. So here we go, we got the post slant combo. It's probably the most popular combo in trips tight end. And Fancy gets a big stop, looks like Noah just Simply missed a read here. And I want to show you guys this route combo. This is probably the most popular route combo or concept in trips tight end on big downs. So what do you have is usually a vertical route here on the left side of the trips. Um, more traditional to use a streak here. Looks like Noah put the um, outside apprentice post route on Tyreek Hill. And not only did he do that, he also smart routed the route. You can guys see where the break of the route is with short out route tech. Tyree kill so what he's expecting here is just in case if he's in man coverage this route will light up e immediately on the break immediately at the six getting a big play now if fancy was to run a cover two or cover three type zone this would be a little bit worse at pulling these thirds or clouds down for the post to get open but overall a pretty good a pretty safe route combo and on the back side you do have your slant coming across the field to try to keep the user home so what he wants to do here is make a two-man read in between the tight end and the slant. Boom. At this point, I mean, Noah's a high-level pass. He's made this read hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, he just doesn't make it this time. Unfortunately, in a big game, fourth and two, he does not see this slant is running wide open. And at that point, J.J. Watt and the gang are in the backfield hitting Tom Brady. Fancy comes out hot with a huge stop. Like, that's huge. In a game like this of this magnitude for this much money, that is a like a huge stop. You cannot ask for anything more than that. Fancy had to fight, scratch, and claw his way here into his Madden Bowl spot. As you guys can see, some of Fancy's accomplishments. Sixth MCS major appearance. First MCS major appearance since Madden 22 Ultimate Kickoff. So we haven't seen Fancy in a while, even though he's such a great player. Uh, looks like he's had some unfortunate losses in the tournament since then. And then... Also, Madden 21 Cowboys Club champion, 23 years old, Frisco, Texas. I mean, Fancy's a daughter. I mean, one of those. I believe they go they go, they go by Top Dog Gaming now. But oops, I accidentally zeroed out the video, so let's fast forward again. Sorry about that. But now, uh, Fancy. Let's take a look at Fancy's abilities. They show us. Boom. So you guys see here on defense, Rashawn Jenkins. 
pick artist Tackle Supreme. You guys know uh, people have the qualifier out here, so he went ahead and put a Tackle Supreme on his team. He put two Tackle Supremes on his team. Actually, another secure tackler, another secure tackler, and another tackle supreme. So people are trying to stop the quad father. That's the name of the game. Now, most of these guys are uh, cheap 1 AP or free ability guys um, getting these big tackling abilities on defense, right? He wants to stop the quad father, right? And as you guys see, we just saw Fancy's quad father fumble. So on his first carry of the game, boom. All right, Noah has this prez, all right? He has avalanche on jamal adams um enforcer and crusher i would assume and he forces a fumble on the first play of the game so think about fancy's like emotions here right you get a huge stop coming into the game and then you give this up the first play of the game it has to be so unlucky i mean so unlucky for that to happen now fancy's had a lot of luck go his way to even get to this man and bull point this point to be in the Madden Bowl, but that he does not deserve that. Nobody deserves that. So we see Noah come out here in single back wing stack. It might be single back wing flex stack is what it should be called. But I see he's running the counter here. Pulling guard runs are always great. Um, you guys know in Madden 23, there's guys with free abilities. Um, like Puller Elite is a free ability. Nasty Streak right now, another free ability. So Noah trying to utilize that throughout this game. RPO inside zone. And he's just trying to work. He's just trying to get Quadfather the carries, right? You need to get Quadfather these carries if we're being completely honest. He's that good of a card. It's like there's no reason for him to not touch the ball two out of three or two out of four downs in a game. You see, he rolls out, boom, a big dot on that vertical route, that vertical crosser streak. And Plastico Burst able to get all the way down to the six yard line here. So, Noah's in a good spot now. Right, Noah's in a good spot. Usually somebody like this with using the quad father with the type of run game experience that Noah has. He also labs with a lot of nerds, the Jaybirds of the world, the Oreos of the world, the run game nerds, K Max of the world. So those TGL guys are always looking to um, find the glitchy runs. He always knows the glitchy runs. That's how he bursts it on the Madden scene. Um, his first ever live event game was actually versus me at the Madden 20 Draft Champ um, event. And he ran all over me. He ran all over Kid. He ran all over Ghost. I mean, he ran all over everybody to his first belt. So, Noah, uh, experience down here. So, down here, what people like to do in trips, I'm assuming, yes, same route combo is going to be this post, right? It's going to be this tight end post. Streak, tight end post, flat slant. I mean, like I said, this is the standard trips tight end combo on the biggest downs of the game. We like to run this in the red zone. So let's see how Fancy likes to attack this. So what Fancy does, he runs with, the, he actually cross mans the tight end, cross mans the tight end so he can't light up on the break of his route. And the post route was actually guarded. So now we have third and goal. Let's see what Noah does here. Noah, I mean, a little verticals concept. Looks like he's thinking a little bit. Motion's out there running back here. Corner route concept with the tight end. It looks like Fancy likes to run with the tight end in these situations. Noah chucks one up. A lot of trips tight end guys love that inside seam over to that trip side as well. Looks like Fancy had the adjustments for it. Unfortunately, did not, did not get a pick here, and Noah is forced to take three points. So, if you're Fancy, this is not the worst situation in the world, right? You already got to stop. Then you get cheated, and then you kind of get what we would call another stop in Madden 23. It's very hard to get stops in this game, and most pro players qualify holding somebody to three as a stop. Like, that's a stop for us, right? It's so hard to, like, down there to hold somebody to three with the quad father, all these running back abilities, and here's his quad father, right? He's not active anymore because he coughed up the football, but he will soon be active again, right? He will soon be active in a few plays, but to get 10 plus yards on that, on that 0 1 trap is huge. Um, I want to see if Noah can really shoot this 0 1 trap good. Um, boom. Another standard concept and tight offset tight end. It's a cover three beating concept with a high low to the right. Um, very odd to run this play to this side, being that the cover, th the cover three beating concept is going to be harder to run from short side going to wide side. This play should be flipped. Um, Fancy maybe doing a little freestyle in here. He's close to the middle half, so boom. But as you guys see, Noah has the milkman. All right, 
One AP Unstoppable Force X Factor active on JJ Watt gets the 1v1 quick shed when Fancy sent out five. So that's something Fancy's gonna have to keep his eye out on. Maybe start double teaming this Milkman ability until it's deactivated. That's one AP for an absolute animal at D tackle. An absolute animal at D tackle. It's gonna be lit up for a majority of the game. As you guys see, he's swimming all over the place. JJ Watt doing swim moves. Fancy hitting his drag underneath. Trying to get back ahead of the sticks, right? This is a game where you don't really want to take negative plays. Right? That's kind of the only way to get stopped is to get sacked and allow somebody to put their zone drops to uh, back to the moon. All right, that's when people start putting out 30-yard zone drops on you. It makes it hard to um, complete passes. So staying ahead of the sticks on early downs. Great user here by Noah. So what Fancy set up here is going to be a double O with high concept. Guys, he, he, he had double drags, boom. This is the point of, the point of attack on this play. Noah uses this play just long enough. He knows that he has low flat zones on the left and on the right here. So as he's using, as much as he wants to pick off one of these drags, he knows he has to get back to this post because we do not want to give this give up this post. He wants to force him to throw one of these drags late, hopefully throwing a pick or getting hit stick as he's catching the ball. That's his. That's Noah's plan here. Noah executes that plan perfectly, gets back to the post, and you cannot throw this. Now, maybe you could highball this, but it's not even worth the risk here. I mean, at this point, you gotta just tip your cap to Noah's user, a hell of a user here on this play. Um, I would like to see more spacing on this route design by Fancy, maybe a motion out. So Fancy goes hurry up. Looks like he's about to cook up here on fourth down. He's going to go to this concept. Looks like here on the left, he's gonna go to this corner route, corner flag concept. Now, a lot of people think this is a bad route combo, right? But the cool thing about this concept is, it's all about this backwards post flag corner okay now this backwards post flag corner runs so deep and so wide that if this guy is in a third or a cloud it will pull him up the field allowing you to throw this ball in between these zones okay it works as a streak like it works as a fade streak to the outside that's why people a lot of the time see their thirds getting pulled by this route okay this is a great route to have on the field um also a man beating route also a cover two beating route by itself is a great route to throw by itself but also a great pull route Actually, looks like he checked away from that. Oh, he's running it to the opposite side now. He's running it to the wide side. <sighs> Decides to throw the seam because he was getting pressured a little bit. Noah. Y'all know how Noah gets, dude. When he gets this momentum, he's, he's, he's tough to deal with when he gets going like this. He feeds off that, emer that emotion, that energy. Um, not a lot of players can play that way, like feeding off their own emotions and energy. He always likes to stay hyped, locked in, laser focused. A lot of people can get a little bit too hyped to make some mistakes, but I mean, when you're playing a little bit more conservative play style, like Noah, just playing great defense, running the ball, letting your opponent beat themselves. All right, that's what Noah likes to do. He likes to let the opponent beat themselves. Okay, so, but overall, great defense by Noah. I bet, I bet Fancy wishes he could have that route combo back. Um, I'm just not a big fan of running play action versus 3 3 Cub on fourth, on long downs, especially fourth down, right? As Noah hits his underneath his CD lamb, tries to get sticky. Um, because play action for what? Right? Play action for what? These guys are pass committing on those downs. Right? Even if the play action worked, those guys are going to get shedded as Fancy hits a hot dot on a corner route here. Versus man coverage. So it looks like Fancy tried to man up this corner out. Boom. Right? Gets fried. Um, I'm assuming that Noah has short in on this kittle. Man beating corner out. Now, what I would have liked to see from Fancy there was actually, instead of manning him up, you could have put him in a match zone, a match quarter, would have matched that corner out beautifully without having to use your man coverage attributes. Uh, short end would have activated. He would have had a better chance of making a play on that ball. But down 10-0, I mean, we're going to see what type of fight Fancy has here, right? We haven't seen Fancy on the main stage here in a while. Um, he's felt like he's deserved to be here. He's kind of been like right on the bubble of Madden Bowl the past two years. Um, he got a big stop coming out in his first drive, right? Then hits the fumble, then gives up three, then comes out and gets stopped, and then gives up seven. Like this is a world, a roller coaster of emotions here um, for fancy. I would have to assume. These games are long, man, but he has a lot of time. These games are really long, like I try to tell you guys. So. Cover three beating concept here. Boom with bench concept on the right to beat cover two just in case. Um, this is nice. I mean, he likes to send out five a lot here and make a read. I mean, I have no problem with that. 
Check it down to CD Lamb, get out of bounds. I mean, like I said, very polished passer, willing to take his check down, willing to take his flats. Um, plays with players like D. Croft, who's also known for check, being able to check the ball down, take his flats, get sticky in the um, open field. So they play the game the right way. Whew, I would not have wanted to throw that. I mean, looked a little bit open. George Kittle getting a step on that on that post route would have been a tough throw to make. Um, but the milkman and those boys are in the backfield. Now, Fancy now has his squad father back. Didn't do much to earn it here, but he has his squad father back. Um, good dot. I mean, great dot right there by Fancy. A uh, little flat wheel combo. User goes right, you throw left. Um, if he sends five, there's just not enough people in the area to stop the quad father right there from picking up that short yardage first down. You guys are going to see a lot of people running the ball here on first down. Now, Fancy not, I mean... I mean, shoot. Fancy's not known for running the ball, but, but the quad father kind of makes it so anybody can run the ball. All right, it helps everyone's run offense up uh, a little bit. Of course, you have, you'd be breaking the tackle the first time every time, falling forward just about every time. As you guys can see, breaking the first tackle, falling forward, right? He's not the best runner on the planet, but this helps that area out. You're paying three AP to help that out, right? So you might not be able to have the best cards everywhere else. Sometimes you might have to have a CD Lamb on the field instead of the Tyree Kill that we want because you have to save AP using that zero AP CD Lamb. You guys know I drop those um, tips on Twitter all the time about who the best cards are, and as you guys can see, um, CD Lamb, Plaxico, and C and um, Herman Moore have been on my list, and those are the receivers you're going to see throughout this entire tournament because they're the best, most physical wide receivers for the least amount of AP. So. You guys know CD Lamb, zero AP short end, the best in, um, route running ability in the game. As you guys see, CD Lamb there. Um, Plaxico Burris and Herman Moore both only cost one AP, and George Kittle cost zero AP. So, you want to have cheap man beating abilities, make it harder on your opponent. And now, mixing in the quad father with that? I don't know how people are getting stops. I don't know how I get stops, honestly. So, you guys see Fancy marching down the field here in the red zone. Noah using a pause here. Looks like he wants to set up a, a specific red zone defense, or maybe he's just trying to get some adjustment sets using one of his pauses. Smart. I mean, if you need to, you got to. He is now in nickel normal. See, setting up a new run defense. Um, he knows how to. Well, it looks like he knows the shoots. That was scary. That was scary. That was scary. Avalanche coming down, almost being able to get a hit stick. He's lit up like a Christmas tree. He has his um, X Factor ability um, that provides him with the ability to force more hit stick fumbles when he comes downfield. So Noah feeling like he's great at shooting the run. Went to that ability to try to get a fumble. He already got one this game. So I like how he has two X Factors lit up at the point of attack, right? D tackle in the heart of your field. And then, of course, your user. Like you, those are two guys you don't want to test. If you send five and you pick it up, JJ Watt's gonna shed. He's gonna shed double teams. And if you run the ball, the Prez is waiting for you. Great adjustments there by Noah, but also great check down read by Fancy. Uh, what Noah did here was he looked like he dropped the D lineman in the coverage to stop this running back wheel. Oh, he dropped his linebacker in the coverage. Boom! Stop this running back wheel. He also manned up the running back to stop to stop this running back wheel. If you guys see, problem is he did not pass commit, so this guy came off the line late. Right, but overall, boom, he's in match, right? I know he's in match because this linebacker just bumped this wide receiver on this vert hook and then matched to this, to this wheel, right? Unfortunately, he has a cloud flight here, and this guy is just open underneath. So that's good defense by Noah overall, but good read also by Fancy, trying to get some yards there. I wish Kittle would have maybe broke a tackle there and got a couple more yards on that play, but overall, great play right there by uh, Fancy Pants. I didn't skip anything, right? No, yeah, we are at third and two. We're at third and two here. Uh, I would say inside zone it being third and two, yes. I would motion somebody across to try to get the numbers. But inside zone on third and two, quad father gets right in. Now, the cool thing about running the ball on third and two means you're going for it on fourth if you don't get it, right? Uh, that would be back-to-back -back run calls for me because at the worst, you might not get a touchdown, but you will fall on your first down and get a free four, like, next set of downs. Right, and the other side of that coin is you get stopped twice, but Noah is backed up all the way on his own three yard line with um, after 30 second runoff would have had 30 seconds left to go in the half. So 
Not a bad set of play calls there by Fancy to get himself back in this game. Uh, remember, Fancy does get the ball at half. So now, this right here is a nightmare for a defender, right? The two-minute drill. The two-minute drill in Madden 23 could feel like an eternity. Um, because, I mean, the... You, you, need, you need your user in the middle of the field. You need to take away deep corner out. So the flats just get wide open and people are getting out of bounds over and over and over. These feel like an eternity, an eternity. Now, something we saw Noah do versus Dreamy, right? In a two minute drill for the game, ran the ball a few times because people aren't setting up their run defense. And now Noah is four yards out of field goal range already. Tough, I would uh, like to see him get intentional grounding there. If he got that ball off, he was throwing the ball away. Uh, Fancy's blitz gets there just in time. Kind of the best thing for Noah right there. He just needs three or four yards. He doesn't need much. He might just need two yards with how crazy the kickers are in Madden is Justin Tucker. Oh, no. Mike Haynes. That is a tough read to make. And there's nothing, nothing really to overanalyze here. I mean, that's just a bad read. I mean, someone right on the field you don't really want to throw. Looks like... This is a purple zone, a curl flat or a seam flat. I mean, he then jumps down. Yeah, this is a seam flat. He jumps up, seam to flat, and it's just bad timing. It's just bad timing, unfortunate. No, I mean, Fancy now in full control of this game going into halftime. I mean, that hurts. You go from about to get three to extend your lead to six to now being down four with 30 seconds left. And now Fancy has three timeouts, and now it makes you want to play a little bit more conservative here. Oh, but let's see if Noah can get down the field. I mean, dude, I mean, there's not a lot. I mean, that's just a bad read. There's nothing open. That's just great defense by Fancy, but on top of a bad read by Noah, I'm just sure he just wishes he could have that one back. So we got post-crosser combo here out of bunch tight end. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, no. High throw and accurate. Let's check his pocket here. This is not that bad of pocket, right? This is not that bad. I mean, Brady's glowing. Right? I mean, he's got to make this throw. I mean, I would step up maybe a little bit, but this is not that bad of pocket. I'm very surprised that he missed this throw. Um, that hurts. I mean, that hurts. Right? <laughs> I mean, that hurts to miss that throw because usually you don't get that look again. Right? I highly, I would man up the tight end here if I'm fancy. No, he just runs with the tight end. Like, you're not going to get that look twice. Noah trying to be patient, getting some good blocks. He has square weight, just nothing, nothing doing. Just rolled out to the wrong side there. This half is just about over. I would maybe run the ball here. I mean, Fancy has three timeouts. We'd have to punt him the rock. Punch this game pretty good. Nothing that could crazy could happen. Oh, but he has the quad father. I mean, sheesh, and then quad father drops it. Now, the cool thing about this play is you guys might not be able to see because we're watching Fancy screen, but boom. This is a high ball, free form throw, claw, left trigger, and LB. I can see it. Boom. That's how you get that ball so far outside. But Carmichael, just great knockout there. Looks like he has a, a knockout ability on Carmichael. So just tough to make that catch. Quad Father almost made a play here. But we're not going to see much here. So, boom, we're going to go over to the second half. And we're going to see what fancy has for us. All right, laying down now because he did fumble in that last in that last um, last time he got hit stick. So here we are on first and ten. Take a look at the route concept if my man shows it on screen. I mean, everyone usually shows their route combos here on screen, but he first down, first and go. I mean, first and ten, give it to the quad father. I'm not mad at that. Looks like Noah has pretty solid 0-1 trap run defense, which is honestly because he's not spreading his line. Right when they're not spreading their line, it's a little bit harder to run 0 1 trap. I mean, he has everybody down there in the gap. So, what I would have did in this situation, I'm fancy, I would turn into a second down runner. I would pass a little bit more on first. But as you guys can see, fancy going to that concept I talked about a little bit ago. Right, that flag corner route, boom. That flag corner out to the wide side that's still going to pull thirds, even though it's such an inside route on release, it's still going to pull thirds. On this backside, we have a street corner combo. Hopefully, he's hoping he's in cover two here, right? If he wanted, if he wanted to see him in cover three and this combo working, he would put a fade on Burris instead of a streak. A fade will pull this third a little bit, not as much as a flag corner would, but that step outside on a fade, like that 
out and up on a fade would help pull this third, but he's he's thinking it's cover two here on the back side, which is fair to say. It's fair to think. It's a fair assessment. That's right, a fair assessment. Boom. Now he has an even better flood concept here. It is cover two on that back side. And, I mean, he throws the ball away. It's hard to free throw and throw that ball over the top of Carl Michael said. I mean, he's like 6'7 out there. Um, it looked like cover two out there, to be honest. So, good play design by Fancy. Great zone drops by Noah. He has those things sitting at 30 yards. He's hopefully, he's forcing Fancy to take the underneath. Fancy just has to start taking it. Quad father open underneath. I mean, Fancy's just not looking sharp. He's not looking willing to take his underneath. And Noah gets another stop. So, boom. Right here. At the point of attack, I mean, you have two routes in the middle of the field. Noah's going to take this high-low. This is a, a, a hard read to make with a user, that, someone user, and it's good. The read here is actually going to be the quad father, honestly. Um, he's going to be hard to tackle for anybody on this wheel route, but boom. I mean, Noah's all over this. I mean, there's not a lot you can throw here outside of the quad father and try to get a first down, but, I mean, Noah's all over this play design. I and mean, he even had a backside post coming from the tight end. But, I mean, the pocket collapses fast in this game. You don't have all day, especially with this at J.J. Watt milkman out there. He's not going on that play, but Kevin Green gets in. You just don't have all day long. Right? You just, you don't. You don't have all day, so. Fancy going for it on fourth and 20. Now, I don't agree with this being up four. Um, I like seeing punt here, but that flag combo gets over so many zones and so many coverages, but wow. I mean... I mean, wow, Zers. Wow, Zers. I mean, we need the ball here. I mean, shoot. That hurts. Him. That That's a, I mean, shoot. Noah not overreacting, right? This is a two-time, this is a two-time belt runner here. Just trying not to overreact. Fancy knows he gets lucky. Cracks the, cracks the, give me that smile. I will lose my mind. If, that, if something like that happened to me on defense. First and 10, give it to the quad father. Now, a funny thing about Madden is after you throw a bad read or a risky read and you get lucky, 99% of people are running the ball after that. You kind of need to settle back in. Like, uh, you play someone in my head-to-head, -head, they throw something blind. There's no mistake. That there's no coincidence that they run the ball right after. It's just kind of like what you do to settle back in. Cover three beating concept here. He's actually flipping it to go to the wide side again. So... His plan on these plays is when he flips it to the wide side, he's not looking for the touchdown now. He's looking to hit this hit this post route right underneath underneath the safety, not letting it go too far deep. Of course, if you're sending out five, you're not you're not thinking you're gonna get that much time anyway. Of course, he has the milkman out here not active on this play, so you're not thinking you're gonna get this much time. Um, but I like this concept as well. So boom, high low. He's starting to take his low. All right, quad father is gonna be hard to tackle. He's starting to take his low. Now, the question I have is, can Jamal Adams still cause his thick fumbles in those situations? You guys see Fancy elected to run out of bounds. Also, you see Fancy's going, now going to inside zone instead of 0-1 trap. Inside zone or run where there are outside run lanes as well in a compressed, situ a compressed formation like this. So, fans, I mean, Noah's pinching his line. So, Fancy is now going to inside zone instead of 0-1 trap. A good adjustment to make. And here's the quad father doing what the quad father does. Um, that is a good adjustment by Fancy. Uh, uh, an adjustment that I f I'm sure if I ask Fancy about the, making that adjustment going to inside zone a little bit, he'll be glad he did because, I mean, look at the results. Right? Look at the results. He's not known as, not known as a runner, and he's, he's finding a way right now. All right, so Fancy here is doing something that we like to call throwing up the X. This is a Madden 20 type concept, uh, throwing up the X, right? So we're looking for the hitch and the out route to pull zones down and throw the X in between. Um, this is a tough read to make in this game, be it that in this game, these routes don't pull zones anymore. You kind of need streaks, right? You need streaks to pull zones now. Those zones don't really pull routes anymore, but those routes don't pull zones anymore. This is, I'm more, he's probably more of looking for this hitch flat combo more than anything. Everything else is really a distraction. But I mean, good dot. Throws it early, good dot. Doesn't let it get to the sideline where it can get picked off. Good dot by Fancy. Throwing it early. Oh, stretching out my leg here. Been having some knee problems, guys. I'm getting old. All right, so boom. We see Noah likes nickel normal down here for run defense. I mean, the quad father is so hard to stop. 
Now, right here, do you keep the quad father in or do you go refriger refrigerator Perry goal line back? Looks like he's maybe going to have both on the field. No. Fullback inside. Refrigerator Perry. Here we go. Quad father X refrigerator Perry. I mean, shoot. How do you get a stop here? All right, you guys get you get goal line back, which is going to improve the run blocking across the front four. Um, and you get the quad father back there. I mean, what do you do? You're forced to use goal line stuffs on defense in this situation, but since you're in this goal line defense, Fancy elects to pass but gets sacked. I mean, everything was bad there. I mean, that's such I mean, everything was super bad. Not a lot of great man-beating concepts out of that formation, that uh, gun split formation over in Saints. Um, I don't really go to that that much, especially not down here. Just not enough space here to run any man-beating combos. Let's see if he can find something good here. I'll go flat wheel, right? But it looks like he has wide wheel. Uh, there, we, oh, he goes flat vert. That's not bad, right? But there's nothing, I mean, great playmaker. My God, that's next level Madden. He's bagged. All right, your average player on this play is so bad. This is great improv improvisation by Fancy Boom. Your average Madden player is strapped here. All right, this is this is pro stuff here. Your average Madden player is strapped. He sees that he has a in route going to the right. Noah has to use it, right? He could throw it underneath. He could throw it underneath this guy at the end of the day if Noah leaves. So he playmakers this guy to the left, right? Now he just created a high low. Noah has to choose. He's drifting away. The milkman's on the way. Right, this is high level stuff. Boom, playmaker CD Lamb inside. This zone does not move. He's not manned up and gets the ball off last second. Left hand, Mark Brunel, a right handed quarterback, is not making this throw in this situation. Slinger won the best release in the game by the best quarterback in the game, in my opinion. Boom, CD Lamb gets in that end zone, and that is huge. Like, that's next level Madden. Uh, kudos to my man, Fancy. That's, that's the play of the game, right? That's the play of the game right here. That's the play of the game right there. That's the biggest play of the game. I mean, that's that's the biggest play of the game, the most impressive play of the game so far. I mean, that's 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 big stuff. In a, in, a, in a drive where you weren't supposed to be there, that's huge stuff. In a drive where you weren't supposed to be there, that's huge stuff. Universal coverage on Mike Haynes. He got that pick six earlier, so he's, go, he's lighting up like a Christmas tree, so he's going to knock out any ball that comes near his way. He's gonna knock out any ball that comes his way. Boom. Great flood concept right there by Noah. You guys know gun tight. I mean, that's everyone's favorite playing gun tight right there. It's a tough one to stop. It's a tough one to stop. I and mean, even though we see it so much, that doesn't mean it's not a not a good play. It's a, it's a tough one to stop. Now, when you look at the route combos on it, it's the ugliest meta play we've probably ever seen, but that doesn't make it not hard to stop here, dude. That's a tough play to stop. And he's quick hiking it now. He's motioning over and quick hiking. Great defense there by uh, Fancy. I mean, Noah's in his hurry up offense here, trying to trying to save some time, really. And the trip's tied in. Second and four. I would go. All right, so he goes flood concept. This is a match beating flood concept. Right, so he's expecting match here. So even if he does have a third, right, where a streak, where a streak would be better versus third or quarter. What it does is it drives him up the field and this Peppers has been turning his hips inside, right? So he's been able to have this corner out on the backside. Also, this is also a cover three beater. So if Fancy cover three over here, this is also a cover three beater and he has a low, a low read as well. So, I mean, Noah's looking for the bomb. And he has it. Actually, Reek gets caught up. He, I mean, he was throwing a pick here. But at, right here, Sorry, the buttons are in the way. But right here, I mean, this is going to be actually be a great play call right here. Boom. You guys saw Tyreek Hill short out, short out elite route tech just light up versus this, um, Julius Peppers at outside corner. Um, he's a man. This is a third, but somebody bumps Reek over here. So this is a touchdown going across this guy's face. The streak is going to take out a third even if it was there. This is a touchdown. But somebody gets bumped. He was throwing it in any way. Right, because he anticipated it being wide open before someone got bumped. But this is going to be a pick if the ball got off because we got bumped. And that's fancy. That's fancy on your bottom left going. He's throwing it. He's throwing it. I mean, which he was. Third and four here. Let's see what Noah cooks up. And he's expecting man coverage here. That's what he's expecting here. 
He does get man coverage. I mean, CD Lamb. My God. PA slot corner. Post route. Can I get some routes on the screen, Noah? I'd appreciate it for the vid. PA slot corner post route. Puts this guy on a slant, right? Boom. Another post route going, going across. I mean, he's throwing up the X. This is the, probably the best man beating route in all the trips tied in. Always want to have that on your field. Looks like uh, Fancy Lux not. I mean, he has no third. I mean, CD. I mean, CD's just gone. Went stop, Noah. Noah goes for two here. Tough and trips. They usually like to do flood con flush concepts. Flushing out, rolling out right. With a right-handed quarterback, you want to be able to roll out right, be able to scramble. Also have a slant and an in route coming back across. Make it very hard on the user. Because those slants and drags coming back across usually beat man coverage. So, boom. Not able to roll out. I mean, throws the laser and drops it. You do not really see people drop the ball without a KO in the area. That's just unlucky when we're talking about uh, how Madden 23 is played. Very hard to get knockouts without knockout abilities, right? So, just unfortunate there. In my in my eyes, unfortunate there. But the quad father is cooking, dude. I mean, the quad father is cooking up. First and 10. I mean, go back to him. Don't stop until he stops it. All right, we, we've been saying that Fancy's not a runner. Noah's the runner and stuff like that. But Fancy looks like the better runner now. We got the quad father. The quad father. Y'all know what Kevin Garnett said. Anything's possible getting sticky. I mean, he's getting 10 a pop. All right, we don't really see Noah get run, ran on like this. This is a great adjustment going to the inside zone versus the pinch, the pinch D line. Like, this is huge. The quad father is good. Quadfather's a demon. Right, if you're not using the Quadfather, what are you doing? If you're not using the Quadfather, man, what are you doing? And he's just tick, 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 tick. This clock is just ticking away here. He's already killed two, like a minute and a half off this clock. Would be more if he wasn't getting so many first downs, but he just keeps getting first downs. Quadfather gets another three. All right, so we got third and two. This is a huge play. Uh, at this point, you're up. At this point, you're up five. You're okay taking three because it's hard to get eight points in Madden. I mean, quad father. Quad father. The quad and the father. Father of the quads. You guys will bow down to the quad father of Madden. You guys do not want none of quad smoke, quadzilla, quad father, quad mother, quad sister, quad brother, quad uncle. I would not want to see anybody in his family. All right. I don't. All right. So, forces. He now forces Noah to go to nickel. Nick, uh, nickel. Now, he runs the ball here. I mean, the quad father doing quad father things. Breaks the arm tackle. Almost gets to the outside. I would like to see Noah. I mean, sorry. I would like to see Fancy pass first this set. But overall, I mean, I can see why he's playing conservative. I mean, look at the clock. It's ticking away. You're, great. You're close to being up eight. You kind of want to take all Noah's timeouts with you at the very least. And... I mean, if you're fancy, you've played good defense. I mean, shoot, another first down. That hurts. The quad father is cooking. That hurts. That hurts real bad. Um, boom. I mean, back to this. Looks like Noah has some uh, goal line defense he likes cooked up. Fridge Perry inside the five. I mean, nothing doing. It's hard to run versus the goal line. Look, I wish... Fancy had some type of audible down scheme right here. So what I would do if it was me, I would come out in this formation with maybe two tight ends, one wide receiver, check down to eye tight, run stretch, or something of that nature versus versus defense or a toss or something to the outside. Inside runs aren't going to really work well versus goal line. I would try to get to the outside. And, oh, I mean, here we go. But this looks like just a dive. I mean, give it to the quad father. Can't, get that, can't really fault him for that. And give it to the quad father again. Noah burns his last time out of the game. Fancy kicks three here. And now we have a bread drive, a guap drive. 40 seconds left. Noah versus Fancy, the two-time belt winner. Versus the club, Cowboys Club champion from a few years back. I mean, this is this is what we asked for in these Madden games. We'd like to see them be good. Um, he's going back to this PA boot over with the crosser. Fancy gave it up last time. Not giving it up this time. Has his zone drops on 30 yards here. So, boom. Fancy's in a cover two shell here, and I'm going to 
cause this at the point of attack. Boom, at this point, right? I mean, this is crazy good defense, my God. This is a third and a purple, right? He has his purple set to maybe 10 yards, right? 10 yards on this backside. We have cover two here. This is a cloud sitting at 30 yards depth. Hard to throw this post or this crosser coming across. So we got maybe like a cover six look. Cover six over here. Cover, I mean, cover two on this side of the field, like a cover three shell on this side. And he's user in this side as well. Since he knows he has his curl flats at about 10 yards, taking away anything underneath, he knows he has to run with this crosser to make sure this gap of the field is not open with a free form dot. This is great defense all around by Fancy. Uh, knowing where to lurk, knowing where to use her, right? Kills eight seconds off the clock, kills a down. Noah, six for 16, 175, two touchdowns, one interception. Not the cleanest game, right? He's not known as the best passer on the planet, but this is just not the cleanest game. Um, we've seen much cleaner passing games from Noah. As he goes to the most popular gun type play in the game. Uh, probably looking for the kid on the scene. I mean, it's just hard to stop that concept. Man. Gets out of bounds, but I mean, 28 seconds on timeout. Like, this is rough. This is a tough situation to be in, so. Got the cheetah motioning across. Cheetah! It's my guy, man. Shout out to my Miami Dolphins and the cheetah. Nothing doing there. Fancy could have got it. Maybe got a pick if he clicked on. 24 seconds, second to 10. Um, what I would be looking for here, I mean, you got to buy some time. Like, these play action, I know it picks up the blitz sometimes, but it just doesn't buy you the time. I expect Fancy to make an adjustment here for this corner route or, or sprint to it, one of the two. Oh, he look, all right, so boom. That's a good adjustment by Fancy here, right? So Fancy goes cover two now on this side instead of cover three. He does not give up this corner route. Boom, he's in cover two concept on that side. Runs to the right. Cannot give up this sideline. So Noah elects to throw in the middle of the field. He's going to be forced to spike the ball. We might see one or two more plays in this game now. I will get down immediately. Forced to spike. We might have one play. Great user by Fancy. We now have one play. Hail Mary. I mean, like this is good defense. This is what you want. You do not want him getting out of bounds. Force him to throw in the middle of the field. Force him to spike that ball. Cut all his plays in half. Noah probably has three or four more plays if he gets out of bounds on that play, but now he only has one. Three man deep. Harold Carmichael out there. Ted Hendricks out there. Julius Peppers out there. Mike Haynes out there. Ronnie Lott out there. Like these aren't small dudes, right? Bo Jackson out there. These aren't some Atwater up in the middle, up top in the middle. Charles Woodson top right. Like these aren't small guys. It's gonna be hard to dunk on one of these guys for the game. And there he is. Teddy Hendog, the stork. Ted Hendricks, fancy, hyped up, punches his ticket to the live, live, live event. The first in-person live event since yours truly was at the last in-person live event, Madden 20 Draft Champs, when Noah won his belt. So, I mean, that was an amazing game. I mean, that was an amazing game. Check out the um, Madden NFL YouTube channel if you guys ever want to watch these games back. But I wanted to take a second to break down this game on how fancy was able to pull off what many people would call the upset over Noah here in the Madden Bowl, punching his ticket to California, San Francisco, I want to believe, the Bay Area. If the Madden, the rest of the Madden 23 Madden Bowl is a actual in-person live event and they let a crowd come through, I'll pull up some of the hour drive, see one of the, see some of the homies, Bugs, Left, Users, see if some of these guys compete, some of my peers might pull up, say what's up to everybody and watch some plays, watch some games live at the um, studio. So I'm going to be doing more of these videos where I break down not only my gameplay, but play, but gameplay of other pros as well, especially in high profile tournaments like this. I want you guys to know what people were thinking and, um, and how the game was overall going from my point of view as a fan, as a Madden pro, as watching my friends and my peers compete, and of course, maybe what they were thinking on the biggest downs of the game. So make sure you guys hit like, subscribe. Let me know something in the comments, um, another matchup you guys would like me to break down, anything like that, man. Thank you guys again for tuning in.